we're now going to start talking about reactions of all kinds. And you've already learned about the various reactions of alkenes and how alkenes pi bonds react. Well, since you know that, we're really not changing much except we're moving to the alkyne pi bond. But the mechanisms are going to be quite similar as are predicting the products. So a couple of things to keep in mind. The alkyne pi bonds react with electrophiles just like alkenes. The second thing which you might be surprised about based on our discussion in the introduction is that alkynes are generally less reactive than alkenes. But I should probably preface this by saying toward electrophiles. So even though the alkyne pi bond is a bit weaker and in general thought to be more reactive than the alkene, it has to do with what product we would get. So I think the easiest way to see this is by comparing two reactions. Here's a three carbon alkene. Here's a three carbon alkyne. And Yes, the alkyne pi bond is a weaker bond than the alkene pi bond, but the alkene is more reactive towards an electrophile. And the alkyne is less reactive. So let's compare the reaction of both of these with an electrophile. With the alkene, we'll use the pi bond. React that with an electrophile. I'll put the electrophile on the less substituted carbon. So it follows a Markovnikov type addition. And this gives us a carbocation. With the alkyne, if we do something similar, we react away one of the pi bonds. And we also get a carbocation. If we compare these two carbocations, the one on top is secondary. The one on the bottom is setting directly on a double bond. This is called a vinyl cation. And vinyl carbocations are very unstable and typically don't form. So if you see a positive charge setting directly on a double bond carbon, that should scream to you unstable. So the reason the alkyne is actually less reactive towards an electrophile is because it's not good to be forming this positive character on the double bond in the product. The secondary cation isn't anything great and stable, but it's much more stable than the vinyl cation. And when we're thinking about reactivity, we can't just solely think about the bond strengths of the bonds we're starting with. We also have to analyze the products or intermediates that we're getting. Let me try to further explain this in an energy diagram. So if we compare the alkene and the alkyne, I'm going to just draw them as blue and red lines. So the alkyne, we said, is a weaker bond. So I'm going to draw it a little bit higher in energy than the alkene. But then when we go through this first step here to get to the carbocation intermediate, I'll maybe put the alkene intermediate right here, but the alkyne intermediate is so unstable it's much, much higher. So now if we connect these lines and think about the energies, here's the alkene. We have to get over this transition state to get to the intermediate. Here's the alkyne. We have to get over this transition state to get to the intermediate. Which one of these humps is taller? This one, thanks to the higher energy intermediate structure we get. So even though 
this pi bond is a bit higher in energy, this is generally a slower reaction.